so we have to find out maximum and minimum values by using another method that is three calls of finding the maximum and minimum so here so these are the given list of n elements from the given list of n elements we have to find out the maximum and minimum values by using divide and conquer technique so in this one so this can be treated as low value and this can first element can be treated as low value last element can be treated as high value so first element index is 0 last element index is 8 so the remaining elements index 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so now we have to take a list so that list contains four cells four cells so the first cell contains the index g index low value the second index contains the high value the third cell contains the maximum value the fourth cell contains the minimum value so this is the low value and this is the high value this is the maximum value and this is the minimum value okay so first from the given list low value is 0 high value is 8 okay next maximum and minimum value can be right at the last okay again this list can be divided into two sub list based on the mid value so here mid is equal to so low plus high by 2 low plus high by 2 so we can take the floor value so here low value is index we can take only index low value is 0 plus high value is 8 so 0 plus 8 by 2 so that is equal to 4 okay so here the first sub list after applying the divide and conquer technique the first sub list contains up to 0 to 4 elements so 0 is the lower value high value is the mid value mid value is for 0 to 4 the second sub list contains start with the index 5 and end with index 8 okay so here maximum value and minimum value how we are getting by using the mid value mid value is equal to so low plus high by 2 so here what is the index of low value 0 what is the index of high value 8 0 plus 8 by 2 so we can take the floor value so 0 plus 8 by 2 is equal to 4 okay so the given list is divided into two sub list based on the mid value the first sub list contains from low value to mid value the second sub list contains mid plus 1 to high value so low value is 0 mid value is 4 okay 0 to 4 that is the first sub list the second sub list contains mid plus 1 mid value is 4 mid plus 1 is 4 plus 1 5 mid plus 1 comma high mid plus 1 is 5 high value is 8 again this list is divided into two sub list based on the mid value okay so again mid value is equal to low plus high by 2 low value is 0 high value is 4 so 0 plus 4 by 2 so that is equal to 2 so 0 to 2 that is 0 to mid value that is the first sub list mid value is 2 so 0 to mid value mid value is 2 so what is the maximum value and minimum value next mid plus 1 mid value is 2 mid plus 1 is nothing but 2 plus 1 that is 3 high value is 4 and what is the maximum and minimum value okay again this sublist can be divided into two parts so based on the mid value 
So mid is equal to low value. Low value is uh, 5 plus high value is 8. 5 plus 8 by 2. So that is 6.5. 6.5 floor value is equal to 6. Okay. Up to 6, the first sublist. After 6, that is the second sublist. So here, from low to mid value. Low to mid value is, low value is 0. Mid value is, sorry, low value is 5. Mid value is 6. So 5 to 6 contains the first sublist. Next, second sublist, mid plus 1. Mid plus 1, mid value 6. 6 plus 1, that is 7. So 7 to high value 8 contains the second sublist. Okay, now. So here the list contains two uh, the list contains three elements okay now again this list is divided into two sublist based on the mid value so here mid is equal to low plus high by 2 low value is 0 high value is 2 so 0 plus 2 by 2 so that is equal to 1 so from low value 0 to mid value 1 that is the first sublist the second sublist is mid plus 1 comma high mid plus 1 is 1 plus 1 that is 2 so here again the list can be divided into two subparts low value is 0 mid value is 1 so what is the maximum value and what is the minimum value so mid plus 1 so mid plus 1 is 1 plus 1 that is 2, low value is 2, high value is also 2, what is the maximum value and what is the minimum value. Okay, so now every list contains two elements. So this list contains, so two elements, this list contains only a single element, this, this list contains two elements, this list contains two elements, this list contains two elements. If the list contains two elements, so when we are comparing these two elements then we have to find out the maximum and minimum value so here first 0 1 so what is the value in index 0 that is 50 but index 1 what is the value there in index 1 40 50 40 so 50 40 so when we are comparing 50 and 40 so what is the maximum value so maximum value is 50 and the minimum value is 40. So here the first third cell represents maximum value. The fourth cell represents minimum value. Okay. So when we are, uh, we are considering only index 0, index 1. Index 0, index 1. So from these, when we are combining these two, when we are combining these index 0 and index 1, what is the maximum value? So index 0 contains 50, index 1 contains 40, 50 is compared with 40. What is the maximum value? 50 is the maximum value. 50 is compared with 40, what is the minimum value? 40 is the minimum value. Next, now considering the index 2. So index 2 value is minus 5. So here the list contains only one value. Low value is also same element. High value is also same element. So maximum value is minus 5 and minimum value is minus 5 because the list contains a single element. So if the list contains a single element, maximum value is the same element. Minimum value is also same element. Here the maximum value is minus 5. Minimum value is minus 5. So here maximum value is minus 5 so minimum value is minus 5 so here it can be treated as max 1 it can be treated as min 1 now we are combining these two sublists so this is 0 to 1 and this is 2 when we are combining these two so then we are getting so 0 comma 2 0 comma 2 when we are combining Combine 0, 1 and 2. So then we are getting 
zero comma two. Okay. So when we are combining, so what is the when we are combining, we are getting a new list. That list contains zero comma one comma two. So what is the new maximum value and what is the new minimum value? So here the maximum value is fifty. Here in this maximum value is minus five. So fifty is max is compared with max one. So then we are getting the new maximum value. Here max value is fifty. Max one value is minus five. Fifty is the compared with minus five, which is maximum. Fifty is the maximum. So fifty is the maximum. Next, what is the minimum value? So here the first sublist minimum value is forty. The second sublist minimum value is minus five. So forty is compared with minus five. Min is compared with min one. Now we have to find out the new minimum value. So forty is compared with minus five, which is minimum value. Minus five is the minimum value. So here, when we are combining these two sublists, maximum value is fifty and minimum value is minus five. Next, now consider this one three and four. Now consider index three and index four. Okay, minus nine minus forty five. So minus nine is compared with the forty five. So which is maximum value? Forty-five is the maximum value. So this is max value. Next, minus nine is compared with forty-five, which is minimum value. So minus nine is minimum value. Minus nine is minimum value. So now, so this is max value, and this is min value. Okay. So this is zero to And this is three four. Now we are combining these two sublists. We can form a new list. So this is zero two. The first sublist is zero two. The second sublist three four. When we are combining these two lists zero two and three four, we are getting a new list called zero comma four. Okay. So what is the maximum value and what is the minimum value? From the first sublist, maximum value is fifty, so minimum value is minus five. From the second sublist, so max it can be treated as max one, it can be treated as min one. Max one value forty five, min one value is minus nine. Okay, so what is the new maximum value and new minimum value by combining zero comma two and three comma four? Okay, so now fifty is compared with the forty. Forty-five. So fifty is the maximum value. Here forty-five is the max one value. So max is compared with the max one. So fifty is compared with forty-five, which is maximum value. Fifty is the max one value. Here fifty is the max one value. Next, min is compared with the min one. So minus five is compared with the minus nine, which is minimum value. So that is minus nine is the Minimum value. Okay. Next, go for this list. Next, so in, we are now we are consider index five and index six. Index five is so ninety. Index six is sixty five. So here ninety is a compared with the sixty five, which is maximum value. So ninety is the maximum value. Ninety is compared with the sixty-five, which is minimum value. Sixty-five is the minimum value. So this is max value, and this is min value. So here maximum max and min can be considered as maximum and minimum values in the first sublist. Here, max one and min one can be considered as maximum value and minimum value in the second sublist. Okay. Next, now consider index seven and index eight. Index seven and index eight. So here, twenty-five, seventy-five. So twenty-five is compared with the seventy-five, which is maximum value. Seventy-five is the max value. It can be treated as max one. Next. 
25 is a compared with 75 which is minimum value so 25 is the minimum value it can be considered as mean one okay so now we are combining these two sub list so this list is 5 comma 6 and this list is 7 comma 8 now we are combining these two sub list now we are getting a new list that is 5 comma h 5 comma h so what is the in the given list 5 comma h what is the maximum value and what is the minimum value okay so here the maximum value is 90 here the maximum value is 75 90 is compared with 75 that is max is compared with max 1 so 90 is compared with 75 which is maximum value so 90 is the maximum value next min is compared with min 1 so min is the minimum element in the first sub list min 1 is the minimum element in the second sub list 65 is compared with 25 which is minimum value that is 25 is the minimum value so from the given new list 5 comma 8 we are getting the maximum value is 90 and the minimum value is 25. So now we are combining these two lists. So that is 0, 4, 5, 8. Now we are combining these two sub lists. First sub list is 0 to 4. Second sub list is 5 to 8. So now we are combining these lists. We are creating a new list that is 0, 8. So 0, 8 means low value is 0 and high value is 8, 0, 8. So what is the maximum and minimum values in the new list 0, 8? So here this is the max value. This is the max and this is the min and this is max 1 value and this is min 1 value. Okay. So here 50 is compared with 90. 50 is the maximum element in the first sub list. 90 is the maximum element in the second sub list. 50 is compared with 90 which is maximum value. So 90 is the maximum value. Next. First is in the first sub list minimum value is minus 9. In the second sub list minimum value is 25. So minus 9 is compared with 25. So that is min is compared with the min 1. So which is minimum value? Minus 9 is the minimum value. Okay. So this is the maximum value and this is the minimum value. This is the low value and this is the high value. So this is the final list. So low value is 0. High value is 8. 0 to 8. From the given array 0 to 8 elements. Low value is 0, high value is 8. What is the maximum value? Maximum value is 90 and minimum value is minus 9. So maximum value is equal to 90. So minimum value is equal to minus 9. So in this way, we have to find out the maximum and the minimum value by using the three calls of three calls method so thank you thank you for watching this